doesn't come as a surprise. No? In, in this country, it's the children of the senators, who, those who have been in politics, who stand a very good chance of being reelected. So sir, nothing has changed. Sir, you scored medyo low doon sa survey. Your doesn't reaction. surprise me. I'm just an ordinary human being. I don't belong to any political family. I'm not rich. I'm not surprised. Like everyone else, democracy in the Philippines can be very expensive and depends on who your parents are. So may pag-asa pa naman dun sa mga nasa hulihan. Nasa laylayan. Yes. Dahil laylayan naman si President Digong nung nagsimula siya only to win with an overwhelming margin. So sir, the dream continues for you. Well, I don't know. I, I, this much I could say that perhaps it's no reason why ordinary people should stop dreaming about being elected in high office. You know, no one should be daunted because we're not talking of qualifications here. We're talking of family names and how long they have been in uh, the highest echelon of power in this country. Sir, we have here the list of the survey. We just have to be very specific as to who you're saying is not qualified. So, top 10. Bahala na po ang taong bayan dyan. Okay. <laughs> but I can certainly say with conviction that of the top 10, lahat sila an anak ng mga sikat. Sir, there are new names here. Okay, so let's go Sinong to the new names. names. Okay, Sarah. Sino? I new names in the senatorial derby. Ah. Uh, so, si, si, Sa, si Mayor Sara, si Aimee Marcos. Di ba anak din sila ng presidente? Okay. Oh, si Lito Lapid. Eh, artista. Oh. Okay. It feels Mar the lowest. Oh, eh, di ba? Anak din, apo rin niya ng presidente. Mm -hmm. eh, wala. Oh, hindi niyo madidispute yung sinabi ko. Katotohanan yan. Oh. <laughs> May not naman dispute. Eh, dapat mag-revolusyon yung mga ordinaryong taong bayan. <laughs> <laughs> Yan po ay sukatan ng kasikatan, hindi po yung sukatan ng uh, kwalifikasyon.